I think the key thing for people to keep in mind is looking for changes in behavior, changes from baseline. It doesn't really matter what the source of the stress is. It's it, there may be different triggers for different athletes. So, if when, for example, you know, if we're seeing examples of whether it's police brutality, or if it's hate crimes against people from the API community, or a shooting that takes place in the Black community, that might be something that sits differently with athletes of color than it might their other teammates. Um, but really looking at how they're affected and looking for changes. So they might be more withdrawn. They might not be as engaged as they were before. Um, they might just seem like they're more um, reactive to things, maybe can't handle if they're stressors that even come from um, spectators. Uh, they might have problems sleeping, whether that's sleeping too much or all of a sudden having insomnia and not being able to get enough rest. There might be changes in their appetite, um, whether that's eating, overeating, uh, which some people do for comfort, or even having a decreased appetite. So basically looking for those changes in baseline on which all can have an effect on their mental health, but also their performance. If someone was performing really well, and all of a sudden there's a sudden change and obviously they didn't lose skill level, you really have to look at what's going on and ask them about those changes.